Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with the 8th episode of the saga of Countess Morag of Moray. That's right. This woman is kicking ass and taking names at the ripe young age of 38. That's right. Oh, well, we need to give her a guardian. Who are we going to give her this time? Who are you, Donata? I don't know about that. I wish one of my sons was old enough, <laughs> and then give him that position. Yes, my first slain at all is complaining. Mm, let me click on her. I'm actually release her since she's just a child anyway. Release from prison. Go free, young child. Uh, your mother. Your mother. Might we might just free your mother as well. Should we? Maybe. Pause this. Ransom the mother, but she has no money, and they have no interest in her. So just release her. Release from prison. How many other people do I have in my prison? Oh, I have four. Magnus, he's probably going to stay there. But what about these others? Morgana, release, release, release. Yes, because we have no purpose in keeping them anyway. Alright, so, to give a quick summed up version of where we are, we are making 6.57 per month in money, we're making 0.92 in prestige, so we've actually got really high prestige as well for uh, like a non-king figure or a queen figure. We're also making 2.14 piety a month and our domain is only size 4, but we're already one of the largest in this entire area. Plus, we have a massive army, so F yes. <laughs> and, uh, but still, our people are not fond of us. Our vassals don't really support us in a lot of our wars, which is no big deal, because we are so incredibly rich that it doesn't even matter. Not as old. I don't need my vassals to like me. They just need to follow my orders. That's right. Man, I'm still trying to take over Buchan, and it's just not happening. This is not happening here. War of Aggression, War of Aggression. Okay, see, we can actually claim Stathern uh, for Ragnvald Ardigil. If we win the war, hmm. We could actually do that. I might do that. And we'll just, we'll claim that area. What other, what other stuff we have? We, have, we can claim Clydesdale. Uh, because of our war where we defeated Clydesdale, dirty Clydesdalian bastards, that was all a, whatever, our chancellor died. Finally, a good one. <laughs> a really good chancellor. Okay. Alright, we still need a better steward though. Tokyo the in Venice is not very good. And what is our husband? Who's our husband? Earl Angus of the Wilds. He's got pretty good stats. Look at that intrigue. That is just nasty. Just nasty. Actually, you know what? I'm going to appoint him as a spy master if I can. There he is. Is this him? No, that's not him. Um, okay, well, I guess since he's already got a position, he can't be there. There's going to be somebody better at this. Yeah, there we go. There's someone who's better. And then we can make Angus Earl of Moray. We can make him our spy master. Yeah, that's right. we got to make sure we have someone who we can trust protecting us. Pope Gregorius has died and been succeeded by Pope Eugenius. Yes, that's interesting. Alright, my sweet, beautiful Morag. See, she's still got really good stats, though. Like, her learning and intrigue are okay, but overall, she's got pretty good stats. Chancellor of Catanes. Let him try. Please, I'll just go to war with you and take you over. What a bitch. Whatever, we can still win a war against him. But if we declare war, we get to tanking culture. And uh you know, that could that could that could be bad for us. Alright, one of our children has come of age. What else is going on in the world of Warcraft? Hmm, nothing interesting. Let's speed it up a bit. Since nothing's happening anyway, we might as well start a new 
Uh, I guess I will train him personally. We might as well go to war with somebody while we're waiting. Is our army built back up yet? Okay, let's demo saving. Um, okay, we were very close to having 4,638, so we might as well wait a bit longer so that we can actually effectively use that massive force. Hmm. So I guess I'll give it another... Oh, that was already two years. I guess I'll give it another two years before we do anything uh, substantial. Substantial. It sucks that she's maimed. I can't get over that. That's just hilarious. Oh, apparently I owe 350 to Jewish moneylenders. Hmm. Hmm. Well... That sounds like a lot of work, and I'm not really into that whole thing. One of my knights is embroiled in a deep argument with one of his ravers bed who's the legal aid to a small plot of land. This is risk to turn a feud in my dismay, so I have to make a judgment. Mm, yes, let the church decide. The land belongs to the crown. Nice. No, <laughs> we're gonna do spend time and money investigating the matter. That's right. We don't want to piss anyone off. We want to keep everyone on as good the level as we possibly can. Alright, who's going to educate my sweet child? You. Yes. Alright. So we have money. We have a decent sized force. 3,750 and it just keeps growing. Good goodness. I guess we'll wait a little bit longer. Again, we don't want to risk not being able to win an engagement, so we're going to let a bit more time pass before we do anything substantial. Ah, it looks like Brosiv is now of legal age. Good. Good, my child. You spent weeks in the wilderness. Uh, well, uh, we don't want to be arbitrary because arbitrary sucks. It's my own failure. Lose 20 prestige. No big deal. Who is this? Oh, yeah, the half sister. Keep it in the family. Because it's not weird, is it? There we go. Alright, they are now married. He's been buried off. We don't have to worry about him doing anything stupid, I hope. Angus is the other one I'm kind of concerned about. I love my relationship with my kids is like on fire. Look at this shit. 100. 100 all the way down the board. Mm, mm, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Good. Good. Again, they are my kids, so we don't expect anything less, really. Really. Man, what is taking so long to fabricate a claim? At 16% yearly, like three years has passed since he, I put him in that position. So you would think... Uh, uh, good goodness. Can't catch a break. Marag and Marag can't catch a break. She's 42 now. She's, oh, man, I'm just... I'm wasting, I'm wasting years here waiting for my arm to get bigger. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and go to war with Straythern. And we're going to claim Straythern for Regenwald Argil. Yes. Raise the armies. Prepare them for battle. Taking over Argil was a really, really smart move on our part. Because, like, <laughs> our army has, like, doubled in size by getting that. Alright, there's a massive army of 4,100 men. Is that all the commanders I have, really? Yeah, send Angus, Bishop of Rosenmark. Yeah, send him in there, too. Alright, we're chopping and destroying. Oh, my goodness. I really need to turn off that auto-saving. Holy crap, at the cost of 80 men, we killed 2,000. That is just horrendous. And we're coming for that ass. I don't know who's, like... Okay, so this is multiple people who are joining the fight against us now. Let them. Let them come. Like, seriously. We will just slay them as well. Sweet victory is on our side. We could call Earl off of Wiltshire. Where is Wiltshire again? Oh, yeah, it's down there. But we're not going to do that because he already doesn't really like us. Findlay, de blah, 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 blah. Bishop Donald. How about Ragenwald? Yeah, Ragenwald. Even though he's kind of like an angry douche. <laughs> Nobody really likes him because he's a dick. Mm. So, we're just going to go ahead and skip forward a little bit so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me stare at a castle. No, my sweet daughter, Ialinua Cambrodian, has died. My goodness. This is terrible. Already one of my kids has died off. Alright, well, let me try to marry Donata, my other daughter to him. 
Because that's not fucking weird. Matulineal, maybe? No? no? Of course not. Of course not. Whatever. Marry her off. That's weird. Like, just the, 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 the relationships that end up getting made in this game are just fucking weird. <laughs> uh, he's married. He buried the first. He buried the first uh, daughter. She dies, so he goes and he marries the second daughter. This is this is fucking weird, man. This is weird. Whatever. Look at her like state level was terrible. Her stewardship. All right, Mufasa. Who's gonna educate you? You know what? I think I'm gonna educate Mufasa. Mufasa. Where, where, where is me? Where am I on here? Or, no, 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 we'll get Brosev too. So it gives everybody a better opinion of each other. And what not. Is this war over yet? Yes, this war is over. So, we defeated our enemy incredibly easily. We've put Ragnvald in power. And now, my goal is to um, make him a vassal. I don't think I can yet offer yeah, basically I have to be a higher rank, because I'm still just a countess, I'm not actually uh, a duchess, so we'll take over, I don't know, Clyde's, Clydesdale, Catan, I guess we'll take over Clydesdale, what's my army looking like? 3,900, still completely and utterly solid, I just want to cock him I'm not concerned, behead him, I will kill him with my bare hands like a fucking boss that is exactly what Moraga Moray is going to do <laughs> even though she's like a maimed cripple she still killed him with her bare fucking hands <laughs> don't mess with Morag of Moray bitches she is she is unsatiable when it comes to her bloodlust is my army getting any bigger okay got a little bigger it's basically back to pre-war levels uh so what we're going to do now is we're going to pause it, and we're going to go to war with Clydesdale. We're going to claim Clydesdale before we lose uh, that title. I don't want to lose anything at all, so we're going to do that. Merge our army into one. Yes, bring it together. All right, did anyone join him? No, okay, nobody's joined Clydesdale. So it's just going to be us versus the forces of Clydesdale. And we're going to move in, and we're going to take this army out here. Yep. Completely smashed. Wow. Wow. Just destroyed. Phenomenal. Righteous imprisonment. Who? Uh, what did he do? Why? Why would I? What? Did, what did he do? Has left your court for the county of Wiltshire. Uh, what is his? What is his ambition? Does he have an ambition? Is he trying to kill someone? What did he do? Five from the county. Attraction to me. Okay. Well, I don't know what he did. Known murder. Oh, he killed somebody. Uh, so we could send him to jail, but we're not going to, because did he kill? Oh, I see who he killed my uh, my marshal, my like high level marshal. What, what an asshole! Why would you do that? <laughs> You're just making it more difficult for the rest of uh, for the rest of us. And typhus, oh, Jesus, goodness gracious! All right, so again, I'm just gonna cut here, and we'll we'll uh, continue after I'm done sieging this place. Okay, so something really interesting happened that might be a pile of complete and utter bullshit, but we're about to find out. Um, so this guy here, Clyde, this the Clydesdale guy, who we declared war on, um, has gotten help from two other countries, but also he took over Strathern, uh, which we gave to that dumbass Ar Ar Argonvald, or whatever his name was. So now... We are fighting uh, desperately for <laughs> this area here, <laughs> and uh, it's not looking good. We're outnumbered. We're, we're uh, outnumbered. And, uh, okay, we're taking very heavy casualties. We're winning, but oh my god. And see, like, these people didn't even have anything to do with this Clydesdale region, and oh my god, we're about to be attacked, and I'm not going to siege this place. Siege it. Take it down. Damn it to hell. Motherfucking whore. Oh, stupid fucking dumbass barons. Oh my god. We've been captured by some queer, queer man named, uh, what's his face? Twithbert? Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck him. 
Mm. So my army has been heavily damaged. My character is currently <laughs> imprisoned, and there's nothing I can do about that. And uh, our allies might come to assist us. All right, this isn't good. Not good at all. Ah, and we were just about to get that too. We were just about to get that. Man, oh, I'm so frustrated. No, no bueno. That's all right. What we'll do is we'll raise our army again. We'll uh, we'll recruit some mercenaries. The Albuano. Albuano, I guess it is. The White. Is that what their name is? The White? <laughs> the Whites? Oh, interesting. Maybe a tad racist. But interesting, nonetheless. Alright, so again, we have a massive army. Ready for sweet, delicious, unsavory combat. And we're gonna build that back up again. Mm, yeah, that's right. Yes, and let those two just murder each other. So I can come in and take my crap back. All right, let's murder each other, you fool. No, bide your time, Marag. We will come to save you. All right, and now we're gonna go crush all of these armies. Let them burn in a dirty, disgusting pit of hell. Yes, yes. That's right. F you. F your friends. F uh, your mother. And our ally comes to assist us, winning battles for us. Good job, man. And now we have an absolutely massive army, tiered and ready for battle. Damn it. This was supposed to be my war. <laughs> and then a bunch of other people get dragged into it, of course. Isn't that how it always is? This is how it always is. Who had a baby? And Saradin Galloway named Shaw. Interesting name. Ragnvald. Whose court is he in? Okay, so he's in my court. So, who has me imprisoned again? Earl Tetford of Tiviotdale? Where's Tiviotdale? Uh, I don't know who that one is. Mm, mm, mm. So, the dear Countess has been captured. We're fighting a war that hopefully we can win. And things are looking bad, ladies and gentlemen. So, what happens next? <laughs> What happens next? I guess we'll just have to find out next time on the saga of Countess Morag of Moray.